Hey folks, I was over at uh, Mississippi State Convention and ran into Jerry Latner with uh, Jerry's Beehives. Um, anyway, I picked up uh, a smoker and um, I've seen smokers. I bought one from uh, a company I won't say who. Um, shipped it in. It's the supplier that I buy most stuff from and honestly I never used it. I actually gave it away because it was so thin. It was absolutely Mickey Mouse. It was light as can be and I thought yeah I'm not I'm not going to that piece of junk. Um, this is my smoker right here. I've used it for 24 years. It is a Walter T. Kelly. Um, what caught my eye was I just went over and looked at the smoker and picked it up. And this thing was heavy, like mine. It was heavy. Um, and then I got to looking at the head and the collar. I just broke this rivet on mine. I'll be shooting a video soon this winter of me restoring this one to its full glory. But what I was able to determine talking to Jerry was that this smoker, um, you see it's, it's burned. Uh, Dedant and Sons. This smoker was actually made by Dedant. Dedant makes, um, used to make all the smokers pretty much in the U.S. Um, they made them for Kelly and they made them for a couple of other manufacturers. And they still make these smokers today. They're handmade here in the U.S. And they are, the only difference is they're not made out of stainless, but they're heavy gauge. Um, and of course the cage is a little different. Mine's got this perforated steel um, cage. My hinge has seen some better days, um, but the style of the hinge is the same. comes out and um, I actually put a micron, micrometer on the, these and the steel, I measured it over here on the, the unit, And it comes out to be about, let me get a little bit higher. Depending on how tight, you know, it's a round surface, so I don't want to squeeze down too hard on it, but it appears to be about 20. And I measured. Measured my old one, and basically they're roughly the same spot. And it too came out to about 20. So they're using the same gauge material that I can, from what I can tell, it's kind of hard. If you see my smoker, it's got plenty of creosote. Um, kind of hard to do a complete absolute without like. Um, Hit it with a wire brush and even then um, I'm probably lost some material over the years because like I said this unit's 50 years old. I've used it for 24 and I've put it through a lot of paces. Um, this Dedant, which I paid $45 at the show for this unit. Now, I'm not, I'm never sponsored by anybody, everything. This is just uh, to help you guys out. Notice that lid slides on nice. It's, some people might consider it loose. That is a fallacy because the first thing you'll wind up doing is you'll wind up with a bunch of creosote around the rim. So having that just a little bit loose is perfect. Um, so the similarities, other than this, the same hood, um, the same lifter, um, this one has a shorter heat shield, but it has this nice heat shield to protect your fingers that's, and gives you plenty of room, whereas mine's a little tight, my fingers, especially with wearing gloves, I can shove it a little bit. Um, but that heat shield is a little bit in the way. This one, the heat shield stays out of the way. Now one thing that I, that I like better on my old one is I've got more, um, more material on my bellows. So I'll get a, um, more draft with every, with every push. Now, like I said, I'm going to shoot a video of this, me restoring this. I'm going to change out the leather. Um, when I do, I may wind up taking the leather off of this one 
and increasing its stroke as well. But anyway, um, I thought that was really interesting. If you don't want to, if you want to smoke for the last two 20, 20 years plus, um, the Dedant is a quality smoker. The other thing I wanted to compare is the weight of these um, side by side. Now the one thing to note is this unit, this old one, has got, and I can't, sorry I can't show you guys better, um, but I've got a good bit of creosote build up, plus I added a stainless steel plate um, underneath this. Um, so I expect this one with the creosote plus the taller shroud to weigh more, but if it's cheap, it won't weigh um, that much more. All right. Up first, looks like two pounds, 11 ounces. Right and our new one is two pounds six ounces so there's five ounces of difference between the two um, like I said this one's got creosote um, leather weighs probably there's a little bit of difference in the weight in the leather but uh, anyway I think this shroud is the main this this heavy heavy tall heat shield is going to weigh a lot more than that little wire heat shield with you can zoom out of here a little bit that little piece of metal there as, as well as that heat shield right that wire heat shield is going to weigh a whole lot less than this old perforated steel so I'd say um, basic construction wise um, tank I'd say they're they are equal anyway um, anyway um, hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, like it once again I am not sponsored by anybody this is just uh, a little little information for my fellow beekeepers out there uh, so you don't waste your money on junk like I did on the, the first new smoker I bought Anyway, um, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Um, I'll keep, sorry, about the, I'll keep making videos as long as I keep getting fresh subscribers. Um, anyway, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.